what is the normal range of blood pressure in adults? The options are 120 by 80, 140 by 90, 160 by 100 or 130 by 70. The correct answer is 120 by 80. Normal blood pressure is considered to be around 120 by 80 mmHg. This indicates a healthy balance between systolic pressure during heartbeats and diastolic pressure between beats and valves. Question number 2. Which intravenous IV solution is considered isotonic? The options are 0.9% normal saline, 5% dextrose in water d5w 3% sodium chloride or lactated ringer's solution the correct answer is 0.9 normal saline isotonic solutions have a similar osmolarity to blood normal saline is an isotonic solution commonly used for fluid replacement question number third what is the priority nursing intervention for a patient experiencing respiratory distress? The options are administering pain medication, assessing vital signs, providing emotional support or administering bronchodilators. The correct answer is assessing vital signs. Assessing vital signs is a priority to gather information on the patient condition and guide further intervention in cases of respiratory distress. Question number 4. What is the purpose of the Glasgow Coma Scale GCS in a Neurological Assessment? Your options. Assessing Cognitive Function Evaluating Motor Function Measuring Pain Intensity or assessing level of consciousness the correct answer is assessing level of consciousness the gcs known as the glasgow coma scale is a neurological scale used to assess a patient's level of consciousness based on eye motor and verbal responses question number fifth which factor increases the risk of pressure ulcers in bedridden patients? Your options Turning and repositioning, adequate hydration, use of pressure relieving devices, or prolonged immobility. The correct answer is prolonged immobility. Prolonged immobility can lead to decreased blood circulation increasing the risk of pressure ulcers regular turning and repositioning are essential to preventive measures question number six what is the main purpose of the rice rice protocol in the management of acute injuries the options are reduce inflammation restore joint function or rehabilitate muscles the correct answer is reduce inflammation. The RICE protocol stands for Rest Ice Compression Evaluation is commonly used to manage acute injuries by reducing inflammation and promoting healing. Dear friends, you are attending the most repeated questions based on staff nurse exams and interviews. If you want to get good score and pass interviews of staff nurses, and this video will be very helpful. So watch it completely to get ready for upcoming exams or interviews. And if the video is helping you, then please do like, subscribe and share our channel. And at the end of the video, please comment your score as well. Let's continue. Question number 7. Which vitamin is essential for the synthesis of clotting factors in the liver? The options. Vitamin A. Vitamin C, Vitamin D or Vitamin K? The correct answer is Vitamin K. Vitamin K is crucial for the synthesis of clotting factors in the liver, playing a key role in blood clotting. Question number 8. 
in which position should be a patient be placed for lumbar puncture the options are prone supine lateral recumbent or sitting upright the correct answer is sitting upright the patient should be positioned sitting upright with the spine flexed for a lumbar puncture to create adequate space between the vertebrae question number 8 what is the purpose of the therapeutic communication technique of reflection in nursing the options are offering reassurance restating the patient's message providing advice or interpreting the patient's thoughts the correct answer is restating the patient's message reflection involves restating the patient's words to show understanding encourage further communication and clarify any misunderstanding question number 9 which of the following is a sign of early hypoxia in patients the options are cyanosis confusion bradycardia or hypotension the correct answer is confusion confusion can be an early sign of hypoxia indicating inadequate oxygen supply to the brain that's the reason monitoring mental status is crucial for early detection question number 10 which laboratory test is commonly used to assess kidney function the options are complete blood count cbc liver function test lfts serum creatinine or thyroid function test tfts the correct answer is serum creatinine serum creatinine is a maker used to assess kidney function and here elevated levels may indicate impaired renal function question number 11 what is the primary purpose of the trendelenburg position the options are facilitate breathing prevent aspiration promote venous return or relieve back pain the correct answer is promote venous return The Trendelenburg position involves placing the patient with their head lower than their heart to enhance venous return, often used in certain surgical and shock situations. Question number 12. What precautionary measure is essential when administering medication via a nasogastric tube? The options are administering medication at room temperature, crushing tablets before administration mixing all medication in one syringe or rapid administration to prevent clogging the correct answer is crushing tablets before administration crushing tablets ensures proper drug absorption when administering medication through a nasogastric tube that reduces the risk of tube blockage question number 13 What is the purpose of the Epigard score immediately after birth? The options are assessment assess maternal well-being, evaluate newborn's neurological function, measure the baby's weight or assess the newborn's overall condition. The correct answer is assess the newborn's overall condition. The Epigard score evaluates the newborn's appearance pulse grimace response activity and respiration immediately after birth that provides a quick assessment to their overall well-being question number 14 which of the following is a priority when a caring for a patient with a suspected drug overdose the options are administering activated charcoal monitoring vital signs providing pain relief or administering antidotes immediately the correct answer is monitoring vital signs monitoring vital signs is a crucial in managing a suspected drug overdose to assess the patient's stability and guide appropriate interventions question number 
which action is essential when administering insulin to a diabetic patient? Your options. Administering it intramuscularly, injecting it rapidly, rotating injection sites, or mixing different types of insulin in one syringe. The correct answer is rotating injection sites. Rotating injection sites helps to prevent lipodystrophy and ensures consistent absorption of insulin in diabetic patients. Question number 16. What is the primary role of hemoglobin in the blood? The options transporting oxygen, initiating blood clotting, fighting infections or regulating blood pressure. The correct answer is transporting oxygen. Hemoglobin is a protein in red blood cells that binds to oxygen and carries it from the lungs to the rest of the body. Question number 17. Which precaution is essential when administering a blood transfusion to a patient? Your options. Rapid infusion to save time. Mixing different blood types. Staying with the patients during the first 15 minutes or administering the blood at any temperature. The correct answer is staying with the patients during the first 15 minutes. Staying with the patient during the first initial 15 minutes allows to prompt detection and management of any transfusion reactions. Question number 19. What is the primary purpose of the Braden scale in nursing assessment? Your options are assessing pain levels, evaluating risk for pressure ulcer, measuring blood glucose levels or monitoring respiratory status. The correct answer is evaluating risk for pressure ulcer. The Braden scale is a tool used to assess the assess a patient's risk for developing pressure ulcers based on the various factors such as mobility, moisture and nutrition. Question number 20. What is the recommended technique for cleaning a wound during dressing changes? Your options. Scrubbing vigorously with a sterile brush. Rinsing with normal saline, using hydrogen peroxide, or applying alcohol based solution? The correct answer is rinsing with normal saline. Rinsing wounds with normal saline is a gentle and effective method to clean wounds without causing damage to the healing tissue. Question number 21. What is the primary purpose of the therapeutic communication technique of active listening in nursing? Your options Offering advice Providing reassurance Clarifying information Or focusing on the patient's message The correct answer is focusing on the patient's message. Active listening involves fully concentrating, understanding, responding and remembering what a patient is saying to establish a therapeutic relationship. Question number 22. Which electrolyte imbalance is associated with the muscle cramps and cardiac dysrhythmias? Your options. Hypokalemia, hyperkalemia, hyponatremia or hypernatremia. Your correct answer is hypokalemia. Hypokalemia or low potassium levels can lead to muscle cramps and cardiac dysrhythmias. Question number 23. What is the priority nursing intervention for a patient with a suspected airway obstruction? Your options. Administering oxygen, performing the hemolytic maneuver, encouraging deep breathing exercise, or providing pain relief? The correct answer is performing Heimlich maneuver. In cases of a suspected airway obstruction, the priority is to clear the airway using the Heimlich maneuver to prevent respiratory distress. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर वट इज द प्राइमरी पर्पज ऑफ द एपगार स्कोर फॉर अ न्यू बॉर्न ये ऑप्शन एसेसिंग न्यूरोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट डेटरमाइनिंग जस्टेशनल एज इवेलुएटिंग द नीड फॉर रिजेक्सटेशन और प्रिडिक्टिंग फ्यूचर ग्रोथ द करेक्ट आंसर इज इवेलुएटिंग द नीड फॉर रिसेसिटेशन द एपगा स्कोर इज अ क्विक असेसमेंट टूल टू परफॉर्म एट वन एंड फाइव मिनट्स आफ्टर द बर्थ टू इवेलुएट द न्यू बॉर्न्स ओवरऑल कंडीशन एंड द नीड फॉर रिसेसिटेशन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ वट इज द प्राइमरी गोल ऑफ थेरापूटिक टच इन नर्सिंग केयर सो हियर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट द थेरापूटिक योर ऑप्शन आर पेन रिलीफ वोन्ड हीलिंग इंप्रूविंग मोबिलिटी और इनहेंसिंग कम्युनिकेशन द करेक्ट आंसर इज पेन रिलीफ द थेरापूटिक टच इज अ नर्सिंग इंटरवेंशन एम एट प्रमोटिंग comfort and pain relief through non invasive techniques such as a gentle and hand placement so friends hope this session was helpful if this session has added a value to your examination preparation or interviews preparation then please do like subscribe and support our channel and share with your friends who are preparing for staff nurse exams or interviews it may help them and friends if you want to be more fit in the medical examination medical interviews then please visit our channel so thank you so much for watching and best of luck for your exams and interviews